let's make sure everything works. And then the one thing I would like to do very, very quickly. All right. Looks like our load <laughs> works. <laughs> so we should be, yes, we are in the, the town of Gray Ridge. And it looks like we're, we, we came here and we found out that there is a cult living here. The Order of the One Way, I believe was their name. Uh, so now, and they're like a cult that believes in predetermination. They believe everything is determined by fate. And yeah, they seem a little weird. I'm just making sure that that's centered. That looks good. That looks good to me. All right, good. So yeah, you guys can't see the top menu anymore, but all, once again, all it is, is it's just showing me that I'm in the inn at Grey Ridge, and then it has my character stats up top, but you'll see those while we're battling and stuff, so you don't really have to worry about it. So I think we're good. We want to move him up front because he's got an axe. Okay, so all my characters are full health. So let's let's see where we're going. We got, yeah, we're in Gray Ridge, so we can go to the alley, the vendor trade post, the inn, or we can exit the town. So let's go to the alley. Hello. Hey, there we go. You think there's a tree city, do you? Well, it's better than it has been, thanks to the order. See, yeah, so like, all these, the townsfolk seem to be brainwashed by this cult. Who do you think you are? Don't even try to talk to me, you dissident trash. Whoa. They say whether you're smart or not is determined before you're born. This is messed up, man. This whole town is weird. This is a weird, weird town. But once again, thanks everyone for coming out. I do appreciate it. Um, we're, I, like I said, I kind of want to play something a little different because DBD has been a little, little sad lately. Um, hopefully, with the changes they're making. Yeah. All right. So that's all we could do with the alley. Let's go to the the trade post. Okay. What's at these prices? Uh-oh. She's right. This is highway robbery. And that's from a wanderer. Please calm down. Don't tell us to calm down. There's such a thing as common sense when it comes to pricing, you know. These prices are outrageous. Hot pot scaring me. Oh, hot pot. I knew America was a cheesecake, but... Hey, who are you calling a cheesecake? Oh. But you people from around here, are you? The prices are high for a reason. It's because of the tax. But I was here last year and the prices were normal. The tax went up at the end of last year. They say there's going to be a food shortage due to cold weather next year and that and the taxes for that. Next year? How do you know you're going to have cold weather next year? Might be a little hard for out-of-towners like you to understand, but we will have cold weather because the order of the one true way. The order of the one true way, yeah, uh, says it will be so. Uh, I see. So the tax was one of the order's commands, was it? The order again. The order is our guide. They show us our future. Oh my god. Uh, as long as we do what they say, nothing can go wrong. This doesn't sound like a, a really good cult. You just get told what to do. I guess that's every cult, actually. <laughs> Sounds pretty weird. That's that oddness you mentioned? Yeah. I'm not gonna say That's right. So please don't be confrontational, alright? Thanks, I hate them already. Okay, whatever. Alright. Uh, let's see their prices. I'm curious. Holy shit! These are like 20 gold! 5,000, 20,000! Oh my god! Yeah, this is highway robbery. Can I sell items? So yeah, look, they'll sell, they'll buy it from me for 25, but charge me 500. Holy crap! Alright, I don't think we're buying anything in this town. Like, ever. 
Hello. Oh god. Huh. <sighs> 400, 700. Man, I uh, know. I can get more at my own village for this stuff. This is bad. What about you? What do you do? Equipment. Let's see what you got. Weapons. Alright, yeah. We're not buying anything in this town. They they overcharge, and it, it is highway robbery. Marika was right. Alright, I'm out of here. What's up with this town? They know next year's weather and their jobs are destined by fate? It's all just so weird. Sort of thing they were talking about. What is it exactly? The Order of the One True Way is an organization that's much more powerful than even a government. So it is a religion! Sorry, sorry. Uh... <laughs> in fact, virtually all of the lands north of this, of this town are the Order's territory. And all the people living in these areas are supposed to be Order members. This town is no exception. Uh, so the Order is forcing the ridiculous idea of the future being predetermined on people. That's right. But most people don't think it's ridiculous. Just don't get it. How can they believe in something like that? I mean, to be fair, people believe in a lot of stuff. And you know what? Give me one moment. <laughs> Prophets are so accurate, more, and more people joined. That's how they became so big and powerful. Sounds pretty phony. Must be a scam. Yeah, like most religion. All right, never mind, never mind. Uh, I didn't think you believe it, as a matter of fact. I don't believe it myself, either. Hey, wait a second. Hot Pot? Yes? You said the lands north of this town all belong to the Order. Does that mean Sinus, too? Uh, you put that together, did you? Sinus belongs to the Order. Sinus is the Order's hometown, in fact. Order headquarters are there. Hey, wait a minute. You never told us that. Well, people there are a little delusional, yes, but it's not like they're going to bite or anything. Besides, it is true that they have the best library in the world. What do you want to do, High Top? I don't care. Let's keep going, man. You sure? Yeah, I really want to find out about this book. Let's go to the Order's local chapter hall, then. This town is like the entryway into the Order's territory. You have to get a pass signed by the chapter... Ser oh, I, I can see this going wrong. Very easily. Yes, the secretary does sound like a real jerk. It'll be alright. He took the innkeeper's daughter, and that's why the innkeeper wasn't there. If you didn't remember that from the last time. That was what we ended on. Uh, yeah, let's go. Please. What's going on? What's going on? Please, Jillian. Gillian. Gillian? Gillian. Gillian. Let me see my daughter. Yeah, okay. Told you over and over, Logan. I can't do that. Oh, it's old man Logan. Ah, comic book joke. Alright, uh, I just want to see your face. That's all I'm asking. Not how you feel, but this is the secretary's decision. If you don't stop, I'll have to take punitive action against you as a dissident of the Order's principles. I've known you for a long time, and I don't want to do that to you, so please leave. Gillian. Grandfather from the anime series. Dude, this is the at most anime game I've ever played. <laughs> what was that all about? Hot pot. I wonder. Uh, okay. Let's go. Let's talk to this guy. Um, excuse me. Ah, oh, there we go. Voice acting. I don't have to narrate anymore. Travelers, what business brings you to the Grey Ridge chapter of the Order of the One True Way? We're here to request a pass. Remember Bilgo when he got lost in the minefield? Everywhere. Mm. Oh, God. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid we can't do that today. <laughs> huh? Our secretary expects everything to be done as scheduled, according to the Order's principles. Okay. They wouldn't do any business that wasn't on today's schedule. Schedule? Again. The secretary is scheduled to do pass-related work in five days. Please come back again then. We have to wait five days? Five days? You gotta be kidding me. We ain't got five days to sit around and wait for some scrap of paper. Uh-oh. What is going on? Uh-oh. Oh, Secretary Makuto. Makuto? Okay. Secretary? 
These people are asking for a pass. Hmm. A pass? That is not. All right, now it looks like every anime villain. All you have to do is sign and stamp a piece of paper or something, right? Why can't you? Uh -huh. Hey, Laura. Welcome. What? I already knew you people would be coming here today, and that you would be soon working for me. This is a cult. Huh? What are you talking about? You do not know the order's prince. The fate of all things is predetermined. In he a speaks really slowly. <laughs> until the end of time. You should take pride in the fact that your future includes giving service to the order. What kind of service do you guys think he's talking about? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Don't give me that, you big bag of hot air. The future is predetermined. Just want to make sure. Can you guys hear this okay? Prostitution. We don't know the future until it comes. And nobody can say what we'll be doing until we do it. <laughs> oh. One thing's for sure, though. I bet you that's the innkeeper's daughter. Be working for you. You ignorant yokel types can be so tiresome. This single path I spoke of is the one true way. And because the Order knows this, we can see the future. Sure you can, boss. Just as I knew you would be coming today. What's our name? You can quit your bluffing. What? When you came out just now, you asked what was going on. If you already knew we'd be coming today, you wouldn't have asked that. Oh! That. Why you? See, there's a reason I like Jill. You, you dare believe that you can deny the truth with mere quibbling? Uh oh! Looks like somebody's starting to crack. Bah! This conversation is over. If you stay here long enough, you'll come to accept the order's principles. This seriously is a cult. Am I? Yes, sir. Oh, that is. Aaron here too once used to spout such That's the innkeeper's daughter, Aaron. As you do now. But look at her now, a faithful member of the order. Aaron. Oh, here comes her dad. What the? Who do you think you are, Logan? Watch yourself now, Aaron. Let's go home. You don't have to work here. Stop it, Father. This is where I belong. It is my fate. Aaron. They brainwashed her. <laughs> you heard her. As for the rest of you, come back when you have accepted the Order's principles. There is plenty of work. Hmm. He seems what like a bad guy. About... Oh. Aaron. What about our pass? You will be working here soon enough. What would you need with a pass? Besides, you will have plenty of opportunities to go to Sinus and the other towns on order of business. Once you become order members and serve me faithfully. <laughs> he seems like a dirty old man. He wants me to serve him. Aaron. Aw, poor old man Logan. Uh, what is wrong with that guy? Mission accomplished. Okay. Uh, yeah. Go talk to him. Hey. Spend it at present. Please return another time. Okay. We out. Who are you? That won't do it all. You better join out right away. The order is a dream come true. They'll rid us of all adversity so we can live every day in peace. After all, the future is already determined, you know. You know? I think they're starting to make sense to me. Yeah. <laughs> taxes have been quite a burden us on us. Uh, ah! Taxes have been quite a burden on us old folks since last year. But I guess it's for the best. It's a sketchy sketch. Yeah, right? The order predicted that long rain spell six years ago. And also that blizzard four years back. So I'm sure we'll have more cold weather damage next year. Just as the chapter secretary says. They have a meteorologist! Like, they have someone who, who who can study weather patterns. That's... Doesn't tell you the future. 
You're not from around here, are you? Better not cause any trouble. Alright, eat it. Oh, of course I'm still mad. That lecher. Okay, so yeah, he is a little jet lecherous. Alright. He likes he likes the young ladies, apparently. The way he was looking at me up and down. Ew, gross. <laughs> so I guess he's saying we have to go we have to work for him if we want to go any further into the order's territory. That's absurd. What do we do now? How come you're so calm? Because Hot Cop's mad enough for the both of us. That's right. But really, what are we going to do? I guess we should take some time to think about it. And the best place to do that is the inn, I guess. Yep. Sounds good. Welcome to, huh? Huh? I saw you at the chapter hall, didn't I? Sorry you had to witness all that. You're in of the sin. Yeah, the, the old lady told us about her. Or about him and his daughter. The details, but you seem to be having trouble regarding your daughter. Yes, sir. She used to be against the principles of the order just as much as, no, even more than me. But ever since that Makuto called her to work, she's been like a completely different person. I'm just going to call him Makout, because I'm not saying Makuto. Oh, forgive me. Here I am, grum grumbling to our guests. If you'd like to stay, just let me know. Poor guy. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be drinking the water. Uh, where does this go? Uh, I guess this is just a, like, a uh, room that we could stay in. And what's down? I saw something down here. Yeah. And I'm guessing it's just another room. Drink all the water? I don't want to join their cult. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> and hi, Crow. <laughs> so what do you think we should do? I say we beat the pass out of that big bag of hot air. Yes! Let's beat up the lecherous old cult leader. <laughs> Brought some midnight snacks for you. Midnight snacks? Did anybody order food? Who cares? I'm hungry. Hell yeah, I'll eat. Oh, it's the daughter! You got- yeah, I'm confused too, Hot Pot. You were the one that- with that big head of hair. Erin? Let me say Erin. Oh, her dad's gonna be so happy. Dad, how many times have you told me about knocking before entering your guest room? Aaron, how did you... How did I what? This is my house too, you know. I have a key. <laughs> Let's see. What I want to know is... My house? That's right. This is my home, Dad. Hello, Aaron. Aww. Can you, can you're trying to... Ex oh, okay. So she's, she's like, working against the, the cult leader. Makant is trying is using his position as chapter secretary and fabricating prophecies for his own benefit. I'm absolutely convinced of it. Yes! Alright. And so you decided to work for the secretary directly to try to get evidence against him? That's right. So that's what it was. Why didn't you tell me? I'm sorry, but I was worried you'd go storming into the chapter hall if I told you about my suspicions. You were thinking about those keepsakes from your mother, huh? Expose the lecture, right? Last year's taxing piece was so sudden I didn't have the cash. So they confiscated some of the keepsakes and the mentors my wife left us. Aww! What's fuck? They took this stuff as dead wife. Aww. I can believe if you wanted to store in the hall after finding out the secretary was lining his pockets. But that wouldn't have solved anything. I want to get some real proof and prosecute McCunt. And you want us to help you with that, right? That's right. I hate to ask you, but on the bright side, you'll get your pass in no time once McCunt's gone. Would you help me? Uh, yeah! Hell yeah! Yeah, why did you ask us? Ty Top was so wonderful. I did! I am wonderful! Thank you! Thank you, Aaron! Stuff to my cunt, and you said, 
We don't know the future until it comes. Nobody in the town has ever talked to the secretary like that before. That's why I picked you to help me. Yeah, well, I'm glad to hear that. I can tell you definitely ain't one of them. That's right, I'm not. Alright, so what exactly do you want us to do? Here's the thing. McCunt raised the taxes last year, but the money that should have been collected is nowhere to be seen. And even the items and articles that were confiscated in place of cash have disappeared. On paper, they were used as deposits to merchants for food during next year's predicted cold weather. That sounds fishy to me. Exactly, and there's more. There's political intrigue in this game. <laughs> They're carrying the money they've been collecting to a hiding place? Do you know where they take it? I'm not positive, but I have a pretty good idea. Get it? It's not the kind of place you can check out by yourself, so that's why you need our help. I'm sorry. Okay, let's go right now then. What? Now so but it's so late. You guys don't want to go? You know what? Let's do it. I think we should move fast before he notices we're on to him and tries to cover tracks. Yes! I'll lead the way. Please follow me. Gotcha. Yeah, Logan! Old man Logan's joining us too! You're always there for me. Thanks. Aw. Yes! We got old man Logan, and we got Aaron, and we got a new mission. Oh, yes! Let's, get, let's bring McCunt down. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna get tired of that. Thank you, Laura. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Let's go. Oh. Old lady. Um, I'm just checking our health and stuff. We're good. Oh, I should change our formation, though. Shouldn't I? Because we got Logan now. Formation. Oh, crap. Well, actually, we should still move him. He's He's got a spear. Oh, he's level 7. Yeah, we'll keep him in the back so he doesn't die. <laughs> All of our other characters are level 10. So where are we going? There's an abandoned mine near town. Hey, you're right. That's the perfect place for hiding things. You know this place? Yes, miss. I used to work there before it closed. Oh, he used to work in the mine before it shut down. This was a mining town before, before the mine got shut down. That's right. Type, sir? <laughs> Is there any chance we'll run into McCunt at the mine? No, according to the schedule, he's not supposed to go out tonight. Let's go. One more thing we can go, Dad. What, me, sir? Now that we're more than just your guest at the end, can you drop the whole sir in this thing? Makes my skin feel kind of creepy, Crawley, when somebody calls me sir. Same here. Whenever anyone calls me sir, it makes me feel way older than I am. And it happens. It happens a lot. <laughs> Oh, man, you got it. Glad I never called you, sir. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's go to the mine. Yeah, I don't, like, that's why I try not to call people ma'am, like women ma'am, because I know that that gets under people's skin, too. I've never actually seen him going in, but I'm pretty sure of it. Definitely seems suspicious. Yeah, I wouldn't even want to come here during the day, let alone at night. And that's what makes this the perfect hiding place, yeah? If Lou were here, he'd be so scared right about now. He is a scaredy cat. Alright, old man Logan, show us around. We should go back to town. No, I'm the one who asked these people to come here. It's no place for a girl. Dad, America? Oh, um, I didn't mean. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Besides, I'm probably stronger than your average boy anyway, right, guys? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Hey, high top. Oh, he wants me to show them the book. Look at my book! Touch. My. Book. Go ahead and try it. Oh, yes! 
Yes, they are stars. They are two stars of destiny. Did you see it? Yes, I saw. Some people fiercely determined fighting something. Yes, they touched my book and they felt something. I'm so happy. You both saw it? In our village, nobody could see it but us. This book, what in the world could it be? We don't know. We're going to the library and sign us to try and, and find that out. So, so that's what you guys are doing, huh? Anything else? Don't you feel strange energy flowing through your body now? I still feel like I do anything now. Oh, you must have gotten the mark of the stars too. Is, is that the strange energy we're feeling? And we got it because we touched High Top's book. That's what we think. In any case, it ought to be all right now, huh? Huh? For Aaron to come with us. Yes, I guess so. Yeah, all right. Thanks, Dad. Aw, but I want you to be careful. Just stay close to me. Okay, Dad. Oh, I did a backflip. Logan is now an ally. Okay, so when people become an ally, they must be... That must make them stars? Remember, there's 108 stars of destiny in this in this game, in every Suikoden game. That's 108 recruitable characters. So this is new to me too. It's an elevator, or oh, I guess maybe they're British, so it's a lift. Couch jumper redeemed. Watch something random. Huh? I don't know, Laura. <laughs> Are you serious? That's no, okay. Is it water powered? No, it doesn't look like it. How does it work? I have no idea. I heard some self-styled inventor made it. They say nobody but the person that made it understands how it worked. So they have elevators, in which, which is basically medieval times, right? Okay. What? You guys just use it on blind faith? Well, it was just so darn convenient. <laughs> I want to ride it. How do we work it? Of course we do. Ah, The part that people ride is down there. What? But if we go down there, we can ride it on our way back up. Yeah. Okay. Let's get down there then. Fuck yeah. Or what we came here for in the first place. No, I just want to ride on an elevator. Because they shouldn't exist in this time period. <laughs> okay. I just want to see if we got random encounters in here. We do. Oh. Rose, new, new uh, creatures for you. Don't know what they're called though. And Laura, we'll watch your uh, we'll watch your video as soon as we get to a safe spot. Oh wait, I want to know what they're called. Um, let's use the breath of flame on uh, spiked lizard. They're just called spiked lizards. All right. Healing gleam. Let's use that on me. You use your blinding flash on the other one. Who is this? Oh, this is Logan. All right. Uh, what do you have? Melt attack? Hell yeah. All right. Heal me up. Thank you, Marika. Lovely as always. You want that? <laughs> oh, we still standing. Not for long. Did he just come on that frog? Lurk Demon, thank you for that lurk. Much appreciated. Oh my god. Damn, he hits hard. Alright, he leveled up. And we got some lizard skin. Alright, uh, give me one second. Let me heal my party real quick. And then we'll watch the random video. Uh, okay, items, items, medicine, use, high top, medicine, use, jail, okay, we're good, that's that, 
There we go. Perfect. Hey, Alex. Welcome. All right. So I think we're good. We're in the Grey Ridge Mine still, so we got to get down to the lower level, right? Whew. Oh man, these guys hit hard though. Um, all right, we're gonna hit them with some magic. You're gonna hit them with your slingshot or bow, whatever it is. Uh, you will hit with your blind flash. And I'm not gonna have you come on the wizard this time, <laughs> Logan. <laughs> Oh, hit for 91, 45, and fire, 86, perfect. All right, we killed one. That's not bad, that's not bad. All right, perfect. So what we do is magic again, breath of flame on him. You will use your healing gleam on jail. Jail, you will use your blinding flash, binding flash, and you'll just attack. There we go. Start the battle. We gotta defeat McCunt. Oh, our first bot of the evening. Hello. It's been a while since I've had a bot. Hi. Bye. <laughs> Holy crap. We got Logan at level 7. He's now level 10. Uh, yeah. There's probably a treasure chest or something we're missing down there. Oh. Oh, new creatures, Rose. What do we got? Breath of Flame on a Poison Viper. Uh, oh. Poison Viper. Boom, boom. And Bind Flash. Poison Viper. Actually, wait. Let's see if your magic works better on the Vipers. Let's, let's have you attack that one. Go. Alright. Here we go. Flame Breath. Boom. Binding Flash, 57, uh-oh. Oh, only 32. Yeah, she hits harder. Oh! No! God damn. All right, um, that's not great. Alright, Mark of the Stars, Breath of Flame on this one. Healing Gleam, put you on Jail. Jail. Binding Flash on this one. Item, Medicine on High Top. Go. Oh, God. They hit hard, man. And they hit two people at the same time. Alright, good. He's dead. So now we only have one to deal with. We're just gonna hit two of us at the same time! Oh no! I'm poisoned! Okay. Uh, Breath of Flame. Close the Viper. Uh, do you got... Do we have anti... Do we have anti-toxin? High top. Alright. Perfect. Flash, and you attack the Poison Viper, and we should kill them now. Man, this mine, the creatures are a lot uh, stronger than they, they've been previously. It's like a quick jump there in uh, difficulty. Alright. Alright, well, we leveled up. That's good. And we got some glow beads. Not 
don't know what those do. Oh my god. Uh, this way? I don't think they're that kind of beads. This is an all-ages game. <laughs> We don't need the healing gleam. Yo. Finding flash. Yep. And you attack. Alright. Starting battle. Here we go. Bam. Twenty-five. Dead. Oh, you hit harder. All right, you're not using your magic anymore. You're just hitting with that thing. Actually, actually hold on. We're just going to all attack physically and see what happens. Oh, yeah. Dead. All right. We're leveling up. We're all level 11 now. Kids would never know. I mean, what if they found them in their mom's drawer? Mommy, what are these? Ah, oh, shit. We shouldn't have went that way. What are these glow beads, Mommy? What are they for? <laughs> uh. Alright. Actually, let's do, yeah, let's do a regular, let's see what happens if we just use physical attacks. Okay. Damn it. I think we could get through this start. Oh no! Stop! Don't! No! No! Jesus. All right, physical attacks might not be working for this for those guys, those uh, snakies. Uh, are you still poisoned? I hope not. Uh, use on jail. Character jail. Uh, doesn't say he's poisoned, so it must be, like, just in battle. Thank you for that, Lurk, Ian. Much, much appreciated. Much, much appreciated. Alright, let's see. Let's hope we can- I'm hoping we can get through at least this mission. In the next half hour before we switch over. But we'll see. Hot pot. Oh, is that a gateway? Yep, there's a gateway down there. Ooh, maybe this dude is from another world. Maybe, like, the McCunt is uh, from another world. And he's, like, Stealing a bunch of crap in this world and taking it to his uh, to his universe or his world to to be rich. Okay. Take you to the fortress ruins in a flash. Oh, hey, we can get back to the where the uh, other his friend was. Yes, you could come out at the gateway we saw there, but I thought Hightop couldn't go through gateways. You can go through gateways. You just can't go to other worlds. Yes, that's right. I can't. I can get, so I can enter the gateways, but I can't exit into a new world. I guess that means I could enter a gateway here and enter it. Like so, basically, it's teleporting. Got it. All right. So you're going through the gateway and the corridor to another place in the same world. Would you like to try it? Sure. Why not? Hey, wait a minute. What do you want to go back to the fortress ruins now for? I don't. I just. Besides, how are we supposed to get to? Gateway down a drop-off like that. Jump? 
If we miss, we'd fall all the way to the bottom and tie. That's true. <laughs> okay, fine. Good. America sure is tough. She can be very, very tough. Hi, Coil. Welcome. All right, so now we know there's another gateway, so I guess we can use that later. Oh, we got new creatures. Oh, they just look like reskinned of those other ones. Alright. We'll attack. It's a shell baboon. Uh, healing gleam on high top. Attack. And attack. There we go. Let's do it! Healing Gleam, bam! Ooh, and we all leveled. I didn't even need to use Healing Gleam. Doesn't matter, we get our mana back too. So we're, we're it's okay. All right. Come on, let's go. Okay. Oh boy. Uh oh. Oh god. Okay. Uh, let's let's not take any chances. Armored spider. They look like giant scorpions. You, you're stronger when you attack, it seems like. So let's do that. All right, 91. 89. 57. 58. All right, so I got about 200 HP. All right, uh, we could, yeah, we can do this again. Let's just do it again. And do we need to heal anyone? Jail, you look fine. You're good. I'm not going to heal you right yet. And you're going to use your Binding Flash. And you will attack. There we go. Start the battle. And dead. Now dead. All right. Whew. Man, we didn't get a lot of freaking XP for, like, killing two giant freaking... Ugh. Alright. What's up here? Nothing. Why'd I go up here? Down. Uh-oh. Oh, God. What are these things? Breath of Flame. Silk Moth Larva. All right. There they are. They are lar lar larvae. Uh, attack. Go. So they shouldn't really hurt us too much then, right? Because they're larvae. They haven't hatched out of their cocoon or whatever. Go. I'm ready to stop the order. Yes, you are, Logan. Look at you. Level 12, buddy. All right. We're getting a lot of silk. I guess that makes sense. If you're killing Larv. Damn it! Oh. All right. I hate running into dead ends. This is an easy one. Bam, 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 bam. And bam. All right, yeah, dead. All right, 
We're getting through this mine. Well, all right, at least there's a chest here. Iron ore. That's it? Damn it, I could have gotten the iron ore if I just played Minecraft. <laughs> oh, you missed. Do it. All right. Well, good news is we're all level 12. So, like, we've raised our levels since getting here. Dead ends. There's a street master farm here that's called New Life Lane, and it's a dead end. So it's not option anymore. That's fucking amazing. <laughs> oh. Attack. You're gonna use your healing gleam on jail. Jail, you will attack. And you will also attack. Go! Alright, he's dead. Bam, bam, and bam, bam. Oh, he's still alive! Shit. Alright, well, he's dead now. City in Georgia called Between, and it's so fun to troll with. Uh, yeah, in Pennsylvania we have a city called uh, Intercourse, Pennsylvania. It's a real place. <laughs> oh, I skip. I didn't mean to skip. Well, all right, what else? <laughs> oh, all right. Oh, we can save. Boom, boom, boom. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let's go to intercourse. I'll meet you at intercourse. All right. <laughs> I'll meet you at intercourse. M E A T. No wordplay for you. Holy shit! What are these guys? <laughs> Gray turtles. They don't look like turtles to me. I don't think that's gonna hurt them. Um, let's let's see. Let's 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 see. We try to use all of our magic. See if it, any of it hurts them. Oh shit. Never mind. Oh god, that hit for 12. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna start the battle. Alright, whew. Well, tonight, we dying on turtle soup, so, uh, sorry, I can't give them to you, Rose. They're, 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 they're gone. <laughs> oh my god. We got something huge here, all right. <laughs> Plug worm, yeah, kinda. Oh wait, no, let's not do that. Let's uh, let's try our magics. Got the 
claim on the six-eyed worm. So he's not the one-eyed worm. He's the six-eyed worm. Uh, healing gleam on uh, this dude on high top. And let's use this on the six-eyed worm. And let's use the normal attack. Go. Start it. Alright, bind flash. 30. Oh, God. Fire? 34. Oh, man. Physical attacks might be where we have to go with this one. Alright, let's attack it. Let's uh, use our healing gleam on Jail. Jail, just hit him. Same with you, boss. Go. He's on me. Medicine. He's on America. Medicine. He's on jail. And medicine. He's on Logan. Start the battle. I'm just gonna all heal. God, put him on. All right, good. Everyone's gonna be fully healed, but he's gonna hit all four. Uh oh. Oh, he just hit me. Okay, okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, good, good, good. Start the battle. Holy shit! He hit jail really hard. Wait, Jail and why didn't you two attack? What the hell? Alright, um. Hit him. Healing Gleam on Jail. Fight Six Eyed Worm. And fight Six Eyed Worm. Start the battle. Alright, come on, we can do this. We can do this. Damn, he hits jail real hard. Um, okay. What? Uh, no. Let's just fight him. You. Let's use a medicine on jail. Jail. You'll hit the side worm. You as well. All right, let's do it. Do it to it. <coughs> oh, who are you gonna hit now? Okay. Right. Kind of reminds me of Tales of Symphonia. Yeah, I love that uh, that on the Dreamcast, Tales of Symphonia. It was a fun ass game. Okay, Healing Gleam. This is a DS game, Webs. Um, and it's... And I'll... Demon, thank you for that raid. Welcome, Raiders. How y'all doing this evening? And you also hit. Hit that six-eyed worm. Well, Rose said it's the butt plug worm. 
Oh. Now he's gonna hit all four of them. Yeah, that hurt. Alright. Oh, actually, it didn't hurt as much as I thought it would. Alright. Um, Alright, so you're gonna attack the six eyed worm. You're gonna heal me. You're gonna attack him. And you're gonna attack him. Go! Ooh. Oh my god, just die! Oh, good god. Um, yeah, we can do this again. Jesus! Hi! <laughs> I guess it's what the everyone's com coming to raid during the butt plug worm attack. Hi, hi, sidekick. Thank you for that raid. W welcome raiders. How y'all doing? <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, yeah. F hit him. Who's lowest on health right now? Looks like Jail is. So we'll heal Jail. He'll hit the six-eyed worm, and this guy, will, Logan, old man Logan, will also hit the six-eyed worm. Let's do it. Do you love butt fuck worms? Yeah, I mean, they're a pain in the ass. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, all right, we defeated the butt plug worm. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, so this is it, huh? If we get if we get on this, it'll take us to the top. Yes, it's an elevator. But we have to find some evidence against McCunt before we even think about going anywhere. Don't worry, I hadn't forgotten. All right. So let's let's go here. Looks like we found our evidence. I've always wondered what a mountain of treasure would look like. Makuto has been hiding all of this? Makunt has been hiding all this. You gotta say it right, Logan. I bet he has. But it's not like the taxpayers' names are on it. We can't use this as proof. There's gotta be something here. Let's look. Never mind. I already found something. Uh, what is it? It's from their dead mother. Her dead mother. That's... Oh, what a pretty necklace. No question about it. It's my wife's. What do you know? We've got our evidence now. Yes. Everything here must be the money and valuables he collected from the townspeople. Makuto claimed he Makant. used all of it to prepare Makant, say his name correctly. Gold, but he was just embezzling it all along. This is unforgivable. He knows how hard the townspeople work to pay that tax. Logan. Old man Logan. Come take a look at this. What's up, Hot, hot, hot Pot? What is it? Oh, it's another book! Look at this. Hey. Now I have two books for people to touch. From our book. Yes, I feel it too. Hey. Yeah, let's touch it. <laughs> let's touch the book. Everybody, touch the book. Also, sidekick, I know. Sometimes you gotta change up when you stream. Sometimes it's it's nice to do an earlier stream, and sometimes it's it's nice to do a later stream. I'm trying to keep a schedule. Like that's all I'm trying to do at this point. <laughs> Oh. We do not fight this battle to determine the future. We fight because we believe that nothing should be so determined. Oh, so they they're fighting against the order of the one way. Another one. I saw another vision. Yes, I saw one too. I think Not we all see it, so. I think I got a different kind of power this time. Another mark of the stars. Oh, so I have multiple magics now. Yes, just like when I touched your book. Yes, yes, old man Logan touched my book. Book. Looked like those people were fighting again, too. I wish I knew what the story there was. Do you think the secretary was hiding this book? It's hard to say. If so, he might know more about what this book is. He Looks might. like we found just one more thing. We gotta ask that big bag of hot air. We, you got noble steel. I guess that's the name of the book. 
All ready to go back? Let's. We have the evidence we need against Makoto now. We have it. The evidence against Makoto. Yes, thanks to all of you. Thank you very much. You have like, oh, good luck. It... <laughs> Save the packs until we bring Makoto down. And thank you for the lurk sidekick. Uh, his name is Makunt. That's right. Jesus. All right. Let's go. Wait, I got in a random battle inside the treasure room? Yeah, let's just kill them real quick. They all attack Jill. All right. And old man Logan is now level 13. All right. I guess Erin, his daughter, we're not going to get to use her in combat. She might be a a mark of the star um, that's a non-combatant. All right. Let's get the show on the road. All right. So we're going to take the, the lift or elevator, as we, we in America call it. Pretty convenient, huh? Faster and no steep paths to climb. Let's ride it back down. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. We better do. We better expose Macunt first. <sighs> do not take another step, huh? Oh, Macunt. Makuto! What are you doing here? Fools! I told you before, everything is predetermined! I already knew you would be coming here tonight. Did he? Again with that stuff? Your routine getting old, Makuto. I bet someone just saw us heading for the mine and told you, right? Huh? How dare you? Huh? Hit the nail on the head, did I? <laughs> yeah, Jill. Pertinent youth, silence! I also knew that you were plotting my assassination here. I mean, I will kill you. Assassination? Please, you could at least try to come up with something a little convincing. Well put. Pardon me, Secretary, but I have to admit I'm still not sure about this. Are you really sure they're plotting to assassinate you? What are you saying? Do you really doubt my word? The word of a chapter secretary of the order? Gilliam, don't be fooled. He's using his position in the order to line his own pockets. What? The proof is right here in this mine. He's the one you should be arresting, not us. D don't listen to them. They are fabricating a story to try and save themselves. Oh, I think McCunt's about to get pounded. Huh, fabricating? You're the expert on fabricating stories around here with those prophecies of yours. Silence, all of you. Seize them. Use force if necessary. But... Now! Yes, sir. Oh, boy. Alright. Oh, shit. I have to fight people? Okay. Uh, what new magic do I have? A physical attack with 100% probable, probable critical hit. <laughs> what do you got now? Rain of Spears! Magic water spear damage all in. Hell yeah! Alright, what do you got now? Two-way strike. Uses HP to cause 200 physical... Oh, that's gonna hurt myself, isn't it? We're gonna just use that on Gilliam. And then you. What did you get? Heavy Tremor. Okay, so you can only use this once and then you're, you're unbalanced. F it. Let's do it. Start the battle. Oh, God. Ouch! Woo! 132! Oh. That wasn't worth it. Rain of Spears! 
Oh, dodged it. Didn't dodge that one. All right. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the masterpiece again on Gilliam. You're going to heal me. You are going to attack this conscript. Go. And 133. Nice. Oh, that's, you only hit for. <laughs> okay. 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 We're good. We're good. All right. Um. All right. Well, I mean, I gotta use masterpiece again on Gilliam. What I want to do is get rid of these conscripts. I think. So, bind flash, and you. Just hit him as hard as you can. Let's do it. Damn. Damn. All right. So again, Masterpiece seems to be our, our way to go with Gilliam. Um. You healing gleam on jail. Jail. Let's. Oh, wait. You got binding. You got bind flash. Let's use that on. Conscript and big man. You just hit him. Start. Let's get rid of his little lackey first. Four. 139. Oh, Is he down? Almost down. Alright. Masterpiece again. On Gilliam. Oh, let's use... Actually, instead of using your MP, let's just use a healing potion and use it on high top. Perfect. You use Bind Flash on the Conscript. You hit the Conscript. Start the battle. Off schedule. I ain't off schedule. Oh, well, all right. I was supposed to start DVD at 90, at 9.30. I will be starting DVD soon, but not right yet. I want to finish this uh, mission first. Ooh, you missed! Alright, everyone just pour it on him. Bam, 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 bam! We got revival statues, a broadsword, and iron mail. Hell yeah, we got some we got some loot. How could a pack of country brats have such strength? Hey, McCunt. Didn't see that in the future, did you? <laughs> okay, Windbag. The game's up. <laughs> uh, well, well, wait. What are you going to do, do to me? Why do you ask? Isn't everything determined in advance? Don't you already know? Hell yeah, America! That's my girl! Uh, that's, uh... <laughs> that's what? I, I don't know. How could I possibly know? That wasn't my pen. We're good. <laughs> what? What did you just say? Can't see the future, huh? <laughs> That's right. The Order's prophecies come from headquarters. But I haven't received a single one since I became the chapter secretary here. Then, then all those prophecies we've had were Controller. all made up. Courtesy of this guy. It's right, old By man, Logan. Heavens. Secretary, no, Makuto. I'm going to report no. this matter Makunt. to the order headquarters right away. You'll be demoted to the lowest rank and subjected to re-education at order headquarters indefinitely. Uh, indefinitely? Um. Huh? 
I don't really understand all that, but does that mean they're gonna take him somewhere and punish him? Not punishment, exactly. But they'll lock him up and make him relearn the Order's principles. I don't like it. Huh? After all the dirt he dealt the people of Grey Ridge, he ought to pay his penance to them. Yes. You have a point there. That's right. In that case... Town flogging! Huh? I have an idea. Gilliam, do you think you can not report this to headquarters? Uh-oh. What? I'm losing Logan and Aaron? What the hell? But they're stars. I need them. You don't need to pay. You help the entire town. I thought something was strange, but I never suspected the secretary of all that. Terrible. Just terrible. That terrible McCunt. Oh, by the way, Logan and Aaron said they'd be waiting at the chapter hall. Could you stop by there? Uh, yeah. I guess. Good night, Wobbles. This old guy had a shit day and got enough of her. Actually, wait, Wobbles, before you leave, can you tell everybody about, uh, the speed you were you were going this morning Stuff. If we reported this incident, McCunt would have been fired and the next hurt day would have come. There's no guarantee that person would have been any better than McCunt. Keep him on in name only and have the actual governing be done by town representatives. I hate being so suspicious of the order, but after what just happened, I support Aaron's idea. Do you really think the order won't catch on to a cheap little scheme? Well, you've been doing whatever you please without the order knowing, haven't you? They won't notice this. Bah. In any case, you don't have any choice but to cooperate with us now, do you? Yes, yes, I understood stand very well. If I don't cooperate, you'll report me to the Order. And I'll be making amends to the townspeople this way? That's right. If this goes well, it'll be a great help to them. Okay, then. Now then, Director, please give High Top that item we discussed earlier. Here, take it. What is it? What did you give me? Your pass. With that, you can travel within the Order's territory as you please. Nice! that I should have erred so grievously. Should have issued you the pass right away to get you out of town and prevent all this. Told you, didn't I? Nobody knows the future until it comes. Well, yeah! Can't agree, but I'm not going to argue with you about it. After all, that philosophy of yours has exposed this fraud. We're all in your debt. Aw. Thank Aaron, not us. We just wanted the cunt to get what he deserved and get our pass. Bah. Of course. I consider Aaron's to be the biggest role in all of this. Excellent work, Aaron. Please stop. Aw. I'm just a shame that we older folk did nothing about the situation until young people took action. I feel the same way. From now on, the adults have to start holding up our own. Yes! All of the adults in this world need to start doing more instead of sending their children out on dangerous missions. <laughs> we'll do everything we can to execute your plan, Aaron. Thank you. I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Holy crap. Infuriating. How could someone like me be put through such a humiliating experience? We'll find a way to show the administration in this town a thing or two. Leave it to us. You got it. I almost forgot. Hey, windbag. Stop calling me that. All right. Hey, scumbag. Ha! <laughs> I said scumbag! Are you? We found this book in the mine. Did you hide it there? That that was here at the hall when I arrived at the secretary. It's just a blank book. A waste of space. I can't throw away water property, so I had it removed to the mine. What about it? Just a blank book, huh? So I guess you didn't see it. Never mind. So you don't know anything about this book either, huh? It's just a blank book, like I said. I have no idea what it was doing that time. Oh well. I guess it's off to the sinus library with us then. Alright. We fucking did it. Oh. The 
filthy rich? <laughs> and it's all thanks to you. What? My pals and I made a little bet on whether or not the chapter secretary would let me through. I'm the only one who bet you'd get through, so I really cleaned house in that little venture. <laughs> get it. If they think the future's already decided, then gambling is pointless, isn't it? Exactly. That's why gambling is forbidden by the order. Officially, anyway. Come on now. Apples and oranges, little lady. I don't care how devoted someone is to the order. They can always use a little extra money. Plus, it's fun. Rolling the dice will never go out of style. Fair. Better believe it. The name's Samias. Here's hoping I come out on top next time. I bet on you, too. Alright. That's awesome. Alright. Uh, you got anything to say now, lady? I think about Secretary McCunt scandal. It's own problem. It has nothing to do with the Order's righteous ways. In fact, you people had better join the Order. Oh, God. She's still brainwashed. I'm out of here. <laughs> you leaving then, huh? Hmm. What's the matter? We have two books now. Don't you want to hurry up and find if I'm, I do, I do. But Order Headquarters are in Simus, right? And that means there will be lots of people there who think the future is already determined, right? Even most of the people here still believe that. They think McCunt was a problem, but the Order is just fine. Can we really just let them be? It's not our place to judge. It's not. Hello, everybody. I want to talk to you. It has to do with what you've just been talking about. What is it? You look so serious. It's not really something we should... Okay, let's go back to the end. <sighs> Alright. What? You want to come with us? Yes! We're going to get Aaron. Alright! She thought I was cute, so I'm okay with Aaron joining the party. All of a sudden, I've been thinking about it for a while. In fact, the order has accurately predicted disaster again, and that's why so many people join. <sighs> okay, but we don't want to object if the people in this town believe in it. Seeing McCunt up, <laughs> seeing McCunt up close changed your mind. Right. The reason everybody was fooled by somebody like McCunt was because they believed in that order. <laughs> why is the order spreading this idea? What exactly are these prophecies? I want to go to the Simon's headquarters and see for myself, Aaron. What do you say? Will you take me with you? Okay. Wait a minute. I don't think... You don't mind, right, Dad? That's your determined face. I guess nothing I can say. Just like your mother. But on one condition, I'm going with you. No, Dad, this town needs you. But didn't you just tell Gilliam you adults had to start holding up your end? Yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right. Alright. Good. Oh, I'll take real good of Aaron. <laughs> We're gonna travel with you, everybody. Mission accepted. All right. Finally, off to Sinus. Come to a place called Fort Ark, though, before we get to Sinus. Never mentioned that. Now, now, calm down. Fort Ark is the fortress that defends Sinus. So once we go through it, we'll be in Sinus in no time. Okay, let's, uh... We'll, we'll go on to Fort Ark next time. 